We asked three diehard whitetail hunters what their favorite trail camera locations are for the month of October. It can be great for finding what bucks are running around in your area. Be sure to listen up. If you guys enjoy the conversation, learn anything at all, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Now, here we go. You run, you run a lot of trail cameras. Mm-hmm. You, you're, we were talking earlier. You said you run how many? This year, I'll be running anywhere from 20 to 30 trail cameras. Throughout the year, are you moving those cameras? Yes. Or do you have like set places that you like them for the entire deer hunting season no i really i move them um you know i'll start early season on feed or trails to feed and then i'll move a lot of them into uh, scrapes i put a lot on scrapes and then late season i go back to food so it's it's pretty i do move them throughout the year and i'll always have a couple with me uh, one or two cameras with me if I'm ever going scouting because I never know what I'm going to want to run into. And that, that's maybe a helpful t- uh, hint is, man, anytime, if you're going to change a stand, if you're going to scout a new spot, throw a trail camera in your pack because you never know what you're going to run into. Yeah, and if I can add to that, throw two in your pack because if you only have one, you're always looking for the perfect spot to hang one. And if you have two with you, you can be like, okay, this might not be the spot, but I'm going to hang a camera anyway. And then you can keep looking for the yep. spot with your last one. So I couldn't agree more. Yeah, there you, you, always, you always need more trail cameras. Yes, you do. So what would you say is your favorite trail camera location specifically for the month of October? Scrapes. So you're running most of them on scrapes. Mm-hmm. What, what are the settings you're running those cameras on to monitor those scrapes? I do two-shot burst, and I do a 15-second delay. I want to get as many pictures on a scrape. I mean, it's not like a corn pile or a mineral site where, you you know, maybe you'll have a, a minute delay, but I'll do a two-shot burst and a, and a 15-second delay. Month of October, very simple. It'd probably be either like a scrape or a rub line on the edge of a bedding area. And, you know, late October maybe differently, but if we're talking early to mid-October, it would be specifically a scrape near bedding. I've found many times where uh, you'll notice a pattern like a buck He'll get out of bed. Everyone thinks when a buck gets out of bed, he's super hungry and he's heading to a food source. He is heading to a food source, but the biggest misinformation is in most bedding areas, there's a secondary food source and that buck's been feeding all day. It may not have been what he really likes the most, but many times there's that scrape just outside of the bedroom on his way to the main food source. And that's definitely where I would uh, be set up, setting up a camera to monitor that situation. The buck I killed it uh, last year is a mainframe, 160 inch, eight point. Um, the only time he daylighted was uh, November, or I'm sorry, October 16th. And I think I actually sent you the photo mm-hmm. when he did it because yep. he, he uh, daylighted. The only time he daylighted was before I killed him in November was October 16th, which was the new moon. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm... <laughs> Where are those? the majority of those daylight photos or occurrences and encounters happening? Like, are they in on food? Are they around <clears throat> bedding? Mostly food. Um, I Obviously, Ohio, it's legal to bait. I use bait for inventory purposes mostly. Obviously, if a, if a deer is being stupid and yeah. daylighting, you're going to make yeah. an attempt on him. You'd be dumb not to. But it's not always necessarily bait. It's a food plot, right. um, and it's not... Um, necessarily in cover, food in cover, or an open field. It's just getting them moving, just seeing them on trails, activity in daylight. You might not get him, you know, if you're running a feeder or something, he might not show up there until after dark, but he's on his feet coming to it, staging up prior to dark. So it, it's kind of across the board. It might be a food plot, might be a feeder, might be transition areas. It, it all seems to kind of vary.